Many generative AI teams discover their projects stall soon after release. How do you avoid these problems? By releasing an MVP with an evaluation framework. Welcome to episode 25 in ProLego's Generative AI series. This is the third in our step-by-step -step mini series where I show you how to build your first generative AI product from start to finish. Last week, I showed you how and why to do rapid prototyping, and today we're going to discuss releasing your solution and creating an evaluation framework. Let's start with when you should release. In four steps to the epiphany, Steve Blank introduced the concept of a minimum viable product or MVP. While most people call the first release of anything an MVP, in reality, it is an approach for mitigating risk. Release the most basic product possible to see if it solves problems. In generative AI, you should deploy your MVP as soon as your data and prompts solve basic problems. Many development teams wait way too long and ultimately deploy slow, expensive applications designed to manage complex exceptions that almost never occur. Here are some guidelines. First, begin with a single problem or step in a workflow. For example, instead of classifying, summarizing, and extracting named entities from contracts, release an MVP that only does classification. Second, Release an MVP that makes a single LLM call for every user action. This will make your system faster and help you rapidly improve. Finally, closely observe your customers using your MVP so you can instantly improve prompts in seconds. So, getting an MVP into customers' hands is critical for maintaining development velocity. Another is creating a basic evaluation framework a step you can take soon after your first release. Here's why you need one. When rapidly prototyping, you want to read the LLM outputs and quickly update the prompts and data. You're looking for a general direction and want to break things. But once you release an MVP, you need to be a bit more rigorous. It is too easy to make minor prompt changes that break your application without realizing it. Even seemingly innocuous changes like adding a single comma to a prompt can result in undesired outputs. When you add in data changes, new models, agents, and different users, you may discover you're spending all of your time troubleshooting. An evaluation framework is analogous to a systems integration test. It is a series of inputs, usually data sets or user prompts, paired with a series of expected outputs. There are two general approaches. You can write scripts to check for specific words in the output. This approach is faster and ideal for evaluating simple questions. Alternatively, you can send the output and instructions to an LLM for evaluation. This approach is slower, but it does allow for more complex analysis. Here's how we're building an evaluation framework for Ground Crew, the example project we're using in this step-by-step -step mini series. Ground Crew uses LLMs to understand and interact with our code base. Our goal is to improve code maintenance, knowledge management, engineering, onboarding, documentation, and identify potential code issues. Our evaluation framework asks a series of questions about our code and evaluates whether ground crew returns the correct answer. A script takes prompts from a configuration file and checks to see if a word is present in the output, or it passes prompts and instructions to an LLM for analysis. For example, we can pass the prompt is there functionality to extract text from a PDF? And it checks to ensure ground crew returns the correct function, extract underscore text underscore from underscore PDF in the output. We're doing a deeper technical discussion of the ground crew evaluation framework at our next YouTube live session. The link is down in the show notes. So that's how you maintain velocity with an MVP release and an evaluation framework. In coming episodes of this step-by-step mini-series, we'll address optimizations through prompt improvements, agents, data augmentation, fine-tuning, and other techniques. Be sure to subscribe and sign up for our email newsletter so you don't miss a critical episode. Now, watch this next video and learn more about evaluation frameworks.